Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do some curved shapes in AutoCAD. So as you can see here, I've got three images and we're just going to use these for tracing around. Now if you don't know how to import images into AutoCAD, I'll leave a link in the description below on a video I have done on how to insert and scale images. Uh, these ones aren't really scaled because it's not the purpose of this particular uh, video. As you can tell, the egg's much bigger than everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to use polyline. There's, there's two ways you can generally do sort of curved lines in AutoCAD. One's with a polyline and the other one's with a spline. Now I'm going to start the polyline command. So I'll type PL and then press space or enter. Now I could just start now uh, drawing if I wanted to. Um, and I'm going to pick a point anyway. I'll, I'll pick here. And I'm going to, you, can, you probably see that as I move my mouse around, it's um, the little rubber band thing sort of, it's stuck on orthogonal. I'm going to that off by pressing the F8 key. So as you can see now I can move it around. All right. Now if we look down at the command prompt down here in the bottom left. It asks me, um, you know, well, I'm going to keep clicking if I want to do, but it's asked me some other options here. And when you want to do a curved polyline, you're going to want to use the arc command. But before we do that, I'm going to change the width of the line so we can see it a lot better. So I'll just type W and then press space or enter. And it's going to ask me for a uh, starting width. I might just put um, uh, two and then let's press enter again for two. And actually that's quite thick. <laughs> so I'm just going to press W again and maybe we'll make that 0.5 and 0.5. Yep. All right. Still quite thick. Um, but the reason I've, I've, I've done this is because sometimes when you just do a single line, it's very hard to see what you're tracing over. So now that we've done that, um, just thinking maybe I will just make that a little bit less wide. So I'll just go back to width again. So W and I'm going to change it to a uh, 0.2. All right. That's a little bit better. So now I'm going to press the A key on my keyboard. So down here for arc and I press space. And as you can see now, as I move the thing around, it's got an arc. But as you can see, it's not fitting the shape of the banana. So this is the next thing we want to do is if we look down, we've got some more options again down here. And we want to now uh, use a second point. So I, depending on the version of AutoCAD, you can either click on that or just type S, press um, space or enter. And now it's going to ask me for a second point. So I click there. And now I haven't clicked anywhere yet. I've just clicked on that point there. And you can see now I can move the... Um, the arc around and then I can click in for the end and then I'll just do that again I just press the S key for um, for second point press there and I just keep doing that pressing S click the midpoint and then the end point and once I've done that press S keyboard so S middle end point press S and as you can see, the actual line that I'm using too is actually white. So it's not very great with this background, but um, I'll change that in a moment. And here you can get really fiddly if you wanted to. So I'm just, again, I'm just pressing the, um, the S key, pressing enter, clicking, clicking, pressing S, enter. Now, as you can see there, I made a little mistake. So I'm just going to press the U key, run do. And what had happened there, as you can see, it's snapping on. Now, I didn't turn off my snap, so I'm going to press the F3 key to turn those off. And now it won't snap, so I'm going to press the S key again. Press Enter, or Space. And it's, um, it's a bit messy around there, but anyway. And you see, I've gone a little bit too far again. I'll, I'll leave that there, because I've accidentally clicked the wrong thing. But um, I'll show you what I'll do in a moment. So just going back to the keyboard. Keep pressing S, you know, so click, click, S. And over time, you'll get better and better and faster at this. And this becomes second nature, and it's actually, um, uh, it's actually quite easy to do. And now I can just press to close it. I can just press C down here. Um, uh, I think we have to press CL for close. And it's closed it. So it's now a closed polyline. I'll just change that color. Uh, we'll make it perhaps red. All right, so what I was going to show you over here was I made a mistake. And I can just grab that grip now and move that in the shape. And the reason we've got these sort of gaps in the polyline is just the way the polyline actually is. 
Um, if I select that and open my properties window, so if I hold down the control key and press the number one, uh, another way you can do it is select the polyline, right click, and when the menu comes out, you can click on properties. So we've got that open here now. Now if I change the global width just to zero, uh, you can see that, and I've pressed escape, so I'm not selecting it. You can see how it fits you know, around that shape and, and you can move that around a little bit as you want to. Um, and uh, what these uh, blue lines are usually called is uh, vertices or vertex. Um, in this case, it's called vertex. So uh, you can actually add more sometimes to a shape if you don't have enough. Uh, and I wrote a little program for that actually. So I think I've got it yeah, running. So basically, I've written a little program, as you can see, just PLV. It's a Lisp routine, it's a programming thing you can do on AutoCAD. And then I can just click on there and um, it'll ask me to pick a breakpoint. And as you can see, it's got a point there, and I can do that again. And so it's adding points, and that, that means then I've got uh, you know more option to, to move that around. And um, see up here, I might not feel like I've got enough points. So I'll run my little command, and maybe here. And now when I select it, there's more there's more of these vertices. So I can move that around. Anyway, well. That's just the rough idea there. But um, so we're gonna have banana. Now let's do the egg. So polyline, PL for polyline. Select. And we've got our um, our width is already set. So we're gonna type A for arc. You know what? I'm just gonna cancel out of this for a moment and change the color again. So we'll start in red. So now I've changed it. PL for polyline. And select there. A and then press S, uh, click, and click and click, and then press the S key, space, click, click, S key, space, click, click. And now, because an egg is actually sort of symmetrical, I can just click here and then press the space key to end the command, and then what I'll draw is a line and I'm going to turn on the snaps again by pressing the F3 key. And then what I can do is I can just trim that line. So T up for trim, select the line, press space, and then press that bit. And then what I can do is I can select the polyline, select the grip so it's now red, so it's a hot grip. And down here you'll see it says stretch. Now if I press the space bar, it'll go to move, press it again to rotate, press it again to scale, and press it again to mirror. Now I'm going to type C for copy, and then I'll press downwards. And I know it's not quite a perfect fit, but um, but that's how you can do it uh, symmetrically. Uh, the other thing you might notice now is that these two um, polylines are actually separate, and you might want them to be one. And the command to do that is to type the letter J for join, and I'll select this one, and I'll select this one, and I'll press space. And as you can see now, they're uh, uh, they're the same. Um, object. Now, this last one down here, we've got some pairs. So again, I'm going to start my command with polyline, so PL. I'm going to turn off the ortho again, so press F8 key, and I'm going to turn off F3 as well, for the snaps. I'm type A for arc, and then S. So and I can just stop that there if I wanted to. And then I can start another one here. Now the great thing about this too is with the polyline thing. Um, you should probably find a shape where you can do this. All right. So we've just, at the moment, has been doing curves. Now let's imagine, um, Imagine, okay, we'll go around this curve and then say we got to this point and there's actually a straight line straight up there. So what we can do to join the polylines together still with a curve in the middle of the command, we'll start the polyline command, so PL, and I'll go arc, or sorry, A for arc, and then uh, S, keep on pressing the S's.
and I'm going to turn on the snap here. Now, as you know, we've drawn around here, we've drawn this curve so far. Now we're still in the arc command, but now if you remember, we can go down the bottom here and we can change that. So we can go back to line. So you can type L for lines, so L and then enter. And see, we've gone back to the line command. So I can now go like this, you know, and um, you know, I could snap it on there if I wanted to, but I can change again. So I can go back to arc, press space, you know, and then I can go back to line. So you can actually change between arcs and then back to lines, L for line, and then A for arc. And that's, um, and that's how you can do it. So you can actually, yeah, change between arc and line in the middle of the command. Another way you can do it is what I did before here is you can do maybe all the arcs and one thing and then the lines and then just join them together. That's another way to do it. Um, the other thing I was gonna show you was the spline command. Now it's a little bit more limited um, than the polyline in some regards, but also it has more abilities than the polyline. So let's type SPL and space for the spline. Now let's go over here. I'm just gonna click a point. And you see, if I just click, I'm not having to press the space or anything like that at this stage. I'll let that go. That's catching up with me. Um, so I'm just clicking around. And um, I'm just going to press space so it stops. But you can see, I didn't have to do any of that S, enter, S, enter, you know, click, click sort of things. I just clicked as I wanted to. Um, the only sort of downside to these poly, uh, sorry, these splines is that you can't really, you can't really snap them to anything uh, or join them with anything else uh, easily. Um, nothing at all, actually and which can be a problem when you're trying to do certain certain boundaries and you want to do a hatch and you're having troubles um, but you do have a lot more versatility with us with a spline um, for recollection though if you are making a line type i don't think you can use splines if you're going to make a custom line type i think you'd have to do this method so technically i'm going to change the color to yellow i'm going to try and trace this with a polyline so pl and now i'm going to turn off f3 I'm going to arc. Um, it's trying to snap on the things here for some reason. And I don't know why that is. Hang on a minute. Okay. Actually, okay. I think you press the F4 key. I should turn it off. There we go. F4 key. All right. So we're going to go A for arc. And then S for second point. And we'll just do what we're doing before. But you see, you can actually do it. Um, still follow the... Um, spline all these tight things with a polyline um, obviously a little just a little bit more work and I, as you can see I've gone a little bit off there and I could uh, I can go back and adjust that later but you see it is possible to do intricate um, polylines that's similar to a spline it's just a little bit quicker doing it with the spline initially but if you are going to hatch areas uh, splines can sometimes be problematic um, polylines can be too, but if you can make a, a polyline a closed polyline, it's going to be a lot easier to hatch if it's having troubles. So anyway, that's the general gist. And as I said, you can select that and you know move things around as you as you want to. You know, so move that back out there. So anyway, I hope you found the video helpful. And if you've got any other questions or ideas for videos you'd like to see, uh, please leave them in the comments or send me a, a message through uh, YouTube. So um, yep, I hope you go well with that. If you like this video, have a look at a couple of other videos I currently have. One is how to draw a site title boundary in AutoCAD, and the other one, which is probably my most popular video, is how to import an image, scale it to draw a car.